name is Derek O'Rourke and I'm Gold's Regional Security Advisor for the Middle East. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Ana Qasem Hijazi uh, from Gold Syria. My name is Christopher Boucher, I'm from Dublin, but I'm in the Kurdish region of Iraq today. My name is Mary T. Murphy, I'm the Refugee Program Manager for Gold in Ethiopia. Hi. I'm Willow. I'm in Juba, South Sudan. My name is Ken McCarthy. I'm the Regional Director for Goal. I cover five countries. Malawi, where I'm based and where I am now. Uh, Kenya, Uganda, Zimbabwe and Sierra Leone. Today I'm actually in the field um, just trying to get a handle on the extent of the drought in Malawi. As you can see, bone dry. Um, it's the rainy season right now, even though it's not raining at the moment. It was earlier today. Um, the rain makes it really difficult to transport supplies by road or airstrips which are unpaved. My team and I are here today in the Infant and Young Child Feeding Services. And my team are providing counselling for the mothers, their refugees, they're all here away from their native home. Right across that mountain is uh, Syria, Qasem's home. <laughs> Home to over 400 uh, gold staff and home to up to a million Syrian people. Um, today we came up to a place called Zaho. It's near the Syrian Turkish Iraqi border. Um, Islamic State forces are about 30 kilometers behind us. It's a frontline area. We came to meet with local government because we want to set up a program to help farmers um, regain their livelihoods. Juba's really insecure at the moment. So we have a very strict 7 p.m. curfew and we have to travel everywhere in gold cars. Gold manages nutrition services in two large refugee camps, um, namely Turkady and Kule, uh, with over 100,000 people. There's about a million and a half refugees and IDPs in the Kurdish region of Iraq. We urgently need medical supplies and drugs to continue to provide life-saving primary health care to over half a million population in South Sudan. And also we are supporting many bakeries, like over them 52 bakeries in our area, which just like supporting fixed price bread for everyone to make it uh, affordable. No matter how much uh, and we're doing a lot, it's never enough, there's always uh, a need. I mean, Goal is doing what it can in terms of irrigation schemes, etc. But we just don't have enough funds to, to, to meet that need. Uh, we're well into the sixth year of the most terrible civil war, most terrible conflict. Um, one in which humanitarians, uh, such as uh, our Goal staff, are actual targets uh, of, the, of the conflict. We ourselves have lost three of our colleagues, gold staff, to this war. Please donate. Even the smallest amount can make a big difference here. Um, something as simple and inexpensive as rehydration salts can make the difference between life and death for a small child. Go need your support, right here, right now. What we really need, what we need from the people back home maybe is just to, to care a little bit more. You know, it shouldn't be the case that we wait for a dead child to turn up at the beach before people take notice that there's a catastrophe unfolding here within our life.